everybody, it's Christina. Um, <clears throat> here with you with a Jenga block DIY today. And I'm gonna be using my super glue, wood glue, and my hot glue gun. And you are gonna need two boxes <clears throat> of the tumbling power blocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take two, four, six, I'm gonna take eight, of these tumbling tower blocks and they're all going to get glued together. Now I'm going to use a combination of wood glue and hot glue because I want to get this project done. I don't want it to take forever. So I'm going to glue all of these together. I'm just going to keep going down the line and they're all going to get glued like I have them laid out here. As straight as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna get that set done and then I'm gonna move on. Okay, so I have that done. Then I am going to take, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven more, and I'm gonna glue all those together just just like this set right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take um, three groups of threes and put those together. So I'm just wood glue on the ends, hot glue in the middle, and then squish it together and hold it. All right, I'm gonna get these glued together. Okay, now I am going to do um, three groups of two. So I'm going to get those put together. So one, two, three of two of the blocks together. Okay, now that we have that done, we're going to put these together here. Just trying to look at my camera. I think I bumped it. Okay. Um, these are going to go on here. So we're going to do wood glue, wood glue, wood glue. Yeah, a little hot glue and then these are going to get butted up to these right here like this okay and then these are going to get put on those right there Now, they're not going to be on there like super exact because <clears throat> these tumbling tower blocks, they are not all even. But I'm going to do my best with them that I can. All right. And then these, this group of three is going to get put onto that group of three. I have glue strings hanging all off my hands right now. I can feel it. Okay, so far, so good. All right, and then these are going to get put on these blocks right here. Notice that I screwed up. So I have eight blocks on this side and seven blocks on this side. So I have to add another block onto this one. I don't know why I didn't see that before. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each side, on each end. Okay, now that those are on there, you're going to take your three groups of two. And those are going to go like this. So as I'm squishing it down and the hot glue kind of comes up, I just kind of take my finger and 
scratch it off up there. This one's going to get put in between here. So I think I'm going to put wood glue on both sides and then I'm just going to, I'm going to do my best to kind of try to slide it in there. And then just push it together. Now what I'm going to do is, this is my top part of um, my box, so I am going to flip this around here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more tumbling tower blocks, and these are going to get glued all around the edges like this. So. all gonna be I think that's my top okay so they're all gonna go around like this and then I'm gonna flip it over and that is gonna be the top of my box so I'm gonna go ahead and take um, tumbling tower blocks and go all the way around I have those done going all the way around um, I did not come up even on these back ends here. I probably could have split the difference a little bit and moved it, but it's gonna be okay because I'm gonna kind of try to cover it up. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna stand this up and then I have a whole bunch of blocks here and these are all gonna get put around the box going like this. So, so I have some stability. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe work in like groups of three and put those together and then try to put it on the box. So, come on. So I'm gonna stick some glue on here. Oh, my head unplugged. And then I'm gonna stick those together and I wanna make sure that I get them even so I'm going to push them down on my mat like this to make sure that they're even before I squish it completely together. Get that extra. I put way too much glue on there. Get that off of there as best I can. All right. So which way did I, did I have it? I think I had it that way. Alright, so squish those together. And then when I get those all done, then these are going to get glued onto there like that. And I think I'm just gonna maybe keep going in groups of three. I think that's probably gonna be easiest. So this is gonna go, it's gonna be like this, all the way around this whole outside layer here. So I have two groups of three done here. I'm just gonna show you real quick. So I'm gonna put some wood glue on there and then hot glue on here. And then I'm gonna stick it to the bottom of my top here. And then I am going to put some hot glue, wood glue on here and on this side and then squish that one into that one. So. Trying to make this as stable as possible. I might have to put a few extra supports in there though. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go around the whole box. Okay, it's all done. I have that all together. It's not too bad. Um, and it seems pretty sturdy. Now would I like go throw it down a hallway or something? Probably not. But 
um yeah that is it it's all together so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my antique wax here and i am going to paint that on here and kind of give it like a stained look so i'm just gonna go oh it looks like i have to um, stir that up a little bit that looks a little bit better yeah it definitely needed to be stirred I don't know must have sat too long so I'm just gonna paint this on here and then I'm just gonna take my paper towel and just kind of smear it and rub it around just to give it a little bit of a stained look so I'm gonna go all the way around um, the sides and the top with my antique wax. It looks pretty nice the way it is, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white chalk paint and this little um, brush that I have, and I'm just gonna kinda weather it up a little bit. Give it a little bit of character. So I'm just gonna go all the way around and do that. I don't know, you'll have to let me know what you think. Does it look good like that, or does it look better with the white on there? I personally think the white looks pretty good, but I don't know. You let me know. Okay, now for a final couple touches on here. Um, I have these little corner pieces that I got from Timu, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these on the corners of my box here, so this isn't quite so noticeable, the little notches that are missing out at the back. So I am just gonna stick some hot glue on here. And then stick this in the corner of my box. And then I have four of them, so I'm gonna do all four sides. Now <clears throat> that I have those on there, which I think look pretty cool, um, I'm gonna take, now this is the front of my Kleenex box, so I'm gonna go in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I have this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I am going to put this around the top of this box here because I don't know, I think it just looks better. It kind of separates, you know, where the line is right here. So that's going to go, I'm going to start in the back and then go all the way around the box. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but you will need two um, boxes of the Tumbling Tower box from Dollar Tree. It did require two. So if you want to make it. And then the Kleenex box that I'm using, it is Kirkland, it's from Costco, but I think the smaller Kleenex boxes like that, um, or tissue boxes from Kleenex, I think those are the same size, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. So this will not fit the bigger box of Kleenexes. Um, I do not have one here right now, so I can't test it out, but I'm thinking maybe you could just double this up, like you could put another row going on the box here. I don't know, I might have to buy one and test that theory out. So this is just going around, just a little extra added trim on there. I don't know, I think it looks better than having this this line right here sticking out. But that's my personal opinion. All right, so I'm just gonna finish going around with this ribbon and I think that might be it. Okay. So I was gonna be finished and then I was looking through my embellishments and stuff and I got these two little like um, door knockers or door, I, I'm not even sure what they are. Um, I got them from Timu a while back and I was thinking how cute would that look on here? I think that would look really cute. I just don't know if I should put it down below the ribbon or try to put it in the middle of the ribbon. I'm almost thinking the middle of the ribbon. I don't know how I'm gonna get those screws through there. I guess if I would have known I was going to do it, I probably would have <sighs> maybe cut a section of the ribbon out. I don't know. I think it kind of almost has to be even with the ribbon. I'm just hoping that I don't break my box apart when I'm trying to screw the screws in here. 
but um, I'm actually, I think I'm going to go off camera and do this so I can like really get in there and kind of support my box while I'm doing it. Yeah. It is finished. I, th I think this gives it a little bit more character. I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, so here's my tissue box, and then it, it just sits right on there. Now, the only thing that I noticed was when I made it, I had to put three on one side and two on the other side, so a little bit of the box here sticks out. But if I really wanted to, if I like really cared, I could just chop some of this box out here very easily. Just make sure I don't get the, and you don't cut the plastic. But I can just cut this out of here and I bet you you won't even see it. But let's test it out. Well, just a little bit, but it looks pretty good. So there, it is all finished. Yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I like it. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I did, in order to screw these in, I did use my drill and kind of pre-drill the holes a little bit so that I could get them in there, but it's all done. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would love it if you like it and share it. Um, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when I upload, and take care. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye!